Hey everybody, this is Jerichos, and welcome to my brand new Let's Play. Oh, I've been excited about this one. This game came out last year, and it is one that I have been looking forward to. Welcome to Sea of Stars. For those who watched my Messenger LP, you know that the Messenger was one of my favorite games of all time. And... I grew up on the classic RPGs of the SNES era. Sea of Stars, made by the same people, a love letter to that era? Oh, how could it go wrong? Well, I legit don't know. We're going in blind. So I say, before anything else, let's just hop right in, start up a new game, and see what awaits us. Sea of Stars has two main characters. Select the one who will lead the party, this can be changed later and does not affect the story. So we've got Valir, a monk born on the winter solstice, walks the path of the guardian goddess Luana. And Zael, a blade dancer born on the summer solstice, walks the path of the guardian god Solon. Hmm. Since it can be changed later, I'll probably swap back and forth between them as the LP goes on. But I'm going to start with Zael. Let's do this. Great Archives. This is cool looking. Welcome to the Great Archives, adventurer. I suppose curiosity brought you here? An important trait, to be sure. I am the Archivist. An immortal versed in the ways of alchemy. But perhaps you knew that already. After spending millennia cataloging the many events of countless timelines, I decided to return here to mull over everything I had seen. In my musings about the stories that fill these books and scrolls, I had a recent epiphany. It seems that in my haste, I may have overlooked the very thing I was hoping to find. As such, there is one special story I wish to revisit, one deserving of a witness. And should the mists of time allow a slight alteration, I believe the ray of hope that was once offered may yet bloom. So walk with me tonight, and we will explore a tale of high adventure, of magic and deceit, of friendship and wonder, but mostly a tale of heroism, one that, I believe, will offer valuable insight in the search for a resolution to the throes of the Fleshmancer. Now, I remain a bit lost amidst all these timelines and all their subtle variations, but I know just the one to make for a perfect starting point. Let us see what we find in there. Ah, yes. Our story begins in a world visited by the Fleshmancer generations prior, causing much turmoil and leaving a mark that has yet to be fully cleansed. Somewhere on Evermist Island, Two brave children of the solstice are on their way to meet with an immortal spirit. In order to become fully-fledged solstice warriors, they will need to learn how to use magic without using magic. Interesting. Also, I love that we're beginning the game with a storyteller. How fitting after, you know, what they did in the previous game. Oh, I love the art style. I'm going to try not to gush about the art style every single episode, but it is gorgeous. All right, we made it to the mountain trail. So far, so good. So, the Elder Mist lives somewhere here, huh? Do you think it's just another test? Hmm, could be, but it sure beats sitting at the Academy. And sewing. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure glad that's over with. 
apply yourselves, for the will you weave into it shall be your sole defense in times of greatest need. While the lessons taught here may appear to be lost on you, something deep inside is compelled to learn. <laughs> Hey, the sun will be setting soon. We should prepare to set up camp. Let's split up. Search for a good spot. So she goes to the left, and we get to control Zale. Go into the right. Time for some scouting. Oh, hello. I'm coming through. Alright, so attack skills and items. Oh, this battle music is a banger. Oh, man. Alright, it seems like all we can do is attack, so... Let's attack the Wanderer. Hey, he's vulnerable to us. Nice. Oof. He did a decent bit of damage. But he's dead. Yay. That went kind of quick. Brugaves wasn't kidding. These feel easier to fight already. Let's see where this leads. Alright, so we have control of Zale. Uh, let's see. Buttons don't seem to do anything. Okay. Pause menu. Oh, we can climb. I don't know if there's random encounters or if it's... Oh, hello. If stuff's hanging out on the map. I mean, judging by that, I'm guessing they're just hanging out on the map. Oh, boy. Alright, what is this? A Roshiv. I am sure I butchered that pronunciation. Alright, can I... I was wondering... I feel like I saw in a preview that there were timed hits... Ouch. Tough one, huh? Let's try this. Ooh, we get to learn skills. Sunball. Solar magic projectile that splashes to nearby targets. Cool. Let's shoot him with a ball of light. Ooh, hold X for power. Nice. Obliterated him. Zale, found anything? Just a dead end. How about you? Nothing of note, but the way to the top is definitely through here. The sun is setting. Come over. I'll get a fire going. I'll be right there. Can't wait for more tomato clubs. Tomato club sandwiches? Meh. Some people like tomatoes. Alright. So, got a way back down. Oh, hey! Put us right back here. So I guess we're looping around to that way, and now we get to explore it. Actually, can I interact with this? The engraving is worn out, but it definitely mentions a rite of passage for children of the solstice. The Elder Mist. Intriguing. This area is just so vibrant. Did Valir clear out the area, or are we going to have to fight something on our way? Nothing so far? Oh, oh there's an enemy. Oh, look, look at him shimmy. Look at him shimmy. <laughs> Uncharted climbing this is not, but, you know, I like the little bit of it. Oh, okay. Um, well, why don't we just start off with a sunball? Let's blast you. La Slug. And it's gone. I wonder, do we get... I can't tell if we get our MP? If it's called that, back after a battle or not. I guess we'll find out in the next battle. Oh, another one of you. Hey, but we made it to the camp. <laughs> but it doesn't beat the face you made the first time you tried smashing a sunball. Oh, I can still hear the headmaster gloating. As I said. Whether by paying attention in class, or by recklessly attempting to hit a projectile with your open palm, you will learn the first rule of solar magic. That fire hurts? <laughs> to be fair, you did learn. Oh yeah, that one only took once. You ever miss those years? Before training, just being kids, always daydreaming, getting into trouble. And making mistakes. I'm sorry, Valir. I didn't mean... It's okay. I understand why he wouldn't want to join us after what happened. 
it's just... I wish he had said goodbye. You know? After ten years of not seeing his face, just to know that he's alright. And that we're still friends. Why do we have to get ahead of ourselves anyway? Oh, Garl. Flashback time? I'm guessing Garl's a childhood friend. Ten years ago, in the village of Moon Cradle. Oh, they're so cute! Look at little kids! My weapon will be something that hits really hard. And I'll pick a fast one. We'll be unstoppable. Imagine all the wonders we'll find after we leave Evermist Island. I want to see the sleeper. What's that? You've never heard of the sleeper? Stories say it's a giant serpent, and it's been sleeping curled up around a mountain since even before there were traveling historians to record it. No way! Sure is, and it's super dangerous too. But don't worry, it can't wake up. Why not? Apparently, there's holes in the mountain, and the wind blows through them and the bat plays a melody that keeps it asleep. Foreshadowing! We're gonna have to wake it up or put it back to sleep. One of those. Whoa. I want to see it too. It's the bell. Erlina and Brugaves are back. Quick, maybe we can catch them before they go to the academy. We have control. And is this is a save point, isn't it? It is. Um, uh, I'll save between episodes. Oh, this music is just adorable. Get so much spirit. All right, let's see. Let's head into the house here. Hey there, younglings. You still playing that little cave down below? Is that all you say? Yep. These crops are our main source of food. It's hard work. But I'm reminded every day when we all eat together that the effort is well worth it. Interesting blue pumpkins. It's a pretty village. Let's see. I don't want to. Do I want to go up that way? There's nothing up here. Just a little field. Let's go over here. It's like an inn or something. I hope you're not getting into trouble again. Us? Never. We would never get into trouble. Hey, wait! Oh, wasn't expecting a cutscene. That was kind of cool. There you are. Playing in your secret hideout again. We were training. I think I can use magic now. Is that so? Let's see it then. Whoa! Come closer, Zale. Open your palm and concentrate. What about you, Valir? Have you been training too? Every day! I bet I'm stronger than you now! <laughs> I'm sure you are. Come here then. <laughs> Whoa, easy now. I can't report to the headmaster if you knock me out. Oh, poor Zale. Just magic blew up in his face. That was awesome, Zale. You did it. Ah! Solstice Warriors. If you are done with your babysitting duties, I would hear your report. Right away, Headmaster. Can we go too? Believe me, once you enter Zenith Academy, you'll wish you hadn't. Let's go, Brugaves. 
So these are former Solstice Warriors, something we're training to become. Interesting. Hey, the full moon is out. He's right. Want to go to the Forbidden Cavern again? We tried already. I can't open it. Yeah, but last time we decided maybe the full moon could make the rune more sensitive. I'm sure it'll work. And Moraine will be so impressed, he'll take you two in for training right away, then we'll finally be allowed to leave this island. What if he gets mad and delays our training instead? Nah. No way. Well, we can worry about that after I open it. I mean, if I open it. Alright, let's go! Hmm, something tells me we're not supposed to go there. It's not this way, though. Weird, looks like a teleport pad or something. Like the light and dark flames. Let's go this way first. I want to explore the town a little more. Okay, this looks like an inn with all the beds. I know you wanted to catch your Lena and Brugaves, but it's starting to be late. Bedtime soon, okay? It's over here. Oh, I love the decorations. Um, is this, like, leaving the village? No, just a cool little peninsula out over the water. Oh, the music just is so cheerful. Remember, young ones, the Celestial Willow was a gift from the Great Eagle. Always treat it with, with respect. Oh, that's pretty. Something bad's gonna happen to that, isn't it? Oh. Well, we'll find out. Ooh, can we? Oh, we could jump down here. I was like, can we climb up on top? But it just hopped down. All right, let's go try to open this mysterious door. Oh, oh, I, I love the world map. I, I've heard the comparisons to Chrono Trigger made, but this is just so, so Chrono Trigger. I love it. We made it. Time to stop for a snack. What? I'm not hungry. Yeah, we just left a few minutes ago. Look, it's not a real adventure if you don't eat a snack on the road. Plus, I made something special for the occasion. Oh, girl, you are precious. Here! Oh, he made sandwiches. <laughs> Chow down. Wow, that's really good. Yeah, no kidding. Glad you like it. It's the jam. I use a bit of sap from the Celestial Willow. You could get in trouble for that. Only if you tell. <laughs> Alright. How do I do this? Maybe, like Erlina showed me? Try opening your palm and concentrating. You got this, Valir. Ooh, glowy palm. Oh, it's opening. This is exciting. I knew it. It worked. I did it. I finally did it. So what now? The headmaster must have heard the bell ring. Do we just wait for him to show up? Might as well enter. It can be our first adventure. Yeah, and then the headmaster will know we're not afraid. This is exciting. Let's go. Oh dear. Oh, it's the forbidden cavern. Kids, this is... This is a mistake. This is such a mistake. Oh, we got a couple of them. There's monsters over there. Let's hide. Oh, look at Girl covering his head. <laughs> Seriously, he is precious. I thought Evermist Island was safe. Guess that's only true for Moon Cradle. 
We should go back. They look dangerous. Yeah. Good call. Uh-oh. Not good. Watch out! There's another one! This is bad. We're surrounded. Maybe try to use your powers? We're not ready for this. Shouldn't I come in here, kids? I... I don't know. Just try! Okay. Let me focus. Watch out! It's repairing something! Come on. Come on! Zale! Watch out! Oh. Ugh. No! Girl! My eye! It really hurts. I... I can't see. There's no escape. It's about to attack again. Oh, poor girl. So, it was you. As resourceful as you are reckless, I see. Headmaster, girl needs help. It feels better. Like anyone born in Moon Cradle, a regular kid, what Garl needs is to not concern himself with the affairs of the Solstice Warriors. I'm really sorry, Headmaster. It was all my idea. Hey! Be thankful that the only cost of this lesson was an eye, young lad. As for the two of you, if you're so eager to receive training, I shall oblige. Follow me. Oh, Garl. Oh, I knew this was going to go bad. I wasn't expecting him to lose an eye. Oh, that's rough as a kid. I mean, that's rough as anyone, but especially as a kid. Make sure to treat the wound and soothe the poor kid. He's not the complaining type, but if the pain seems to return, please send for me. Understood, Headmaster. You will not see your friend for a very long time. If you have any parting words, speak them now. I... Can't he come and stay with us? How long is very long? Like a week? Ah, uh, the eagerness of youth. It takes years to properly train Solstice Warriors. Years? No way! But... Your friends have much to learn. I would suggest you use that time to reflect upon what happened today. With any luck, it will help you forget any ideas of getting involved with a burden that is not yours to bear. Guys, don't forget about me. Never. We'll train really hard. Maybe it won't take so long. Oh... Oh no, poor girl. And is this the last time they saw him for, what they say, 10 years? Ooh, we teleporting? Oh, that's raising up in the sky. That's actually slightly cooler. This is a neat floating place. I saw it on the world map. I'm guessing this was the... Like, an academy or something? Oh, yeah. Welcome to Zenith Academy. In this ancient place of knowledge, you will learn everything you need to know in order to become true Solstice Warriors. We've been waiting for this for so long. When do we start? Tomorrow. Though I believe a proper introduction is in order. Careful now. Oh, we're going even higher. Wow, we are way over the village now. Oh, this is so cool. 
I like the view up here. Welcome to the classroom in the sky. Whoa, it's beautiful. That's what I said. I'm feeling a weird resonance, like when I opened the Forbidden Cavern. Good on you for noticing that. Getting closer to the stars helps new recruits get acquired with their innate magic. It shows great promise that you were able to feel it before, and Zale too, from what Erlina told me. Oh, it was just a small burst. Hmm. They have no idea how much potential they have. It is probably for the best. Now, in the many years you will spend at Zenith Academy, you will learn about the duties incumbent upon Solstice Warriors, of the magic you are destined to wield, and the evils it is meant to cleanse. We'll learn how to fight too, right? Naturally. You will spend your days training and studying, but most importantly, sewing. Sewing? That, that sounds boring. Oh, I can assure you that it is. A mandatory task, nonetheless. All who would join our order begin by weaving their will into an enchanted piece of fabric, the staple of the Solstice Warrior. It is their most prized possession, guaranteeing light in the darkest places and a measure of protection against the minions of the Fleshmancer. But first, you must learn of your duties. Train until you cannot feel your limbs, and then train some more. Once both your body and mind are ripe with potential, you will create a magic piece of fabric worthy of the very stars. You will then be sent out beyond the Forbidden Cavern to meet with the Elder Mist, for it alone may officially grant the title of Solstice Warrior. I guess that's what we're doing in present day. Sewing. I understand it is not what you were hoping for, but it is what is required of you for the time being. Years of sewing. That'll be all for today. You will be spending a lot of time in these halls, so you should make yourselves at home. To your left is the training room. You're to go there first thing in the morning. Just above is the way to my chambers. It is off limits, of course. And to our right are the dormitories. Just make sure you pick a bed aligned with your innate magic. Feel free to look around, then go to sleep when you are ready. Good night. And we have control again. We're at the Zenith Academy. This is so neat. Ah. Uh, but I think that is where we're going to wrap up the first episode. We've been introduced to Zale and Valir. Yes, I did look up ahead of time how to pronounce the name. When I saw how it was spelled, I was curious. Um, and their childhood friend, Garl, who had something very unfortunate happen to him. But we're going to find out more in the next episode about the Zenith Academy and what our duties as Solstice Warriors entail. So, if you've enjoyed this episode, make sure to click like and hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys next time.